All right, we're going to learn how to solve and graph addition and subtraction inequalities. So it's going to be the same as how we do equations, and we're going to use inverse operations. So we're going to identify what operation is being performed on our variable, and then we're going to use the opposite operation to isolate our variable. So here's our first example. We're going to solve and graph x plus 3 is less than 10. So we'll start with the solving. So x plus 3 is less than 10. Okay, how do we get rid of adding 3? With subtracting 3. So we're going to do that again on both sides. And the way that I'm showing my work is the way you're going to show your work. Positive 3 minus 3, cancel. We have x and it's less than 10 minus 3 is 7. So we have that x is less than 7. Now we're going to graph. On your problems, you're probably going to have a number line already there for you. So I'll just draw mine. Okay. And in our graphing video, as I said, just start in the middle. We got 7 and do a couple numbers on either side just to kind of flesh it out a little bit there. All right. So now this is x is less than, so it's going to be an open circle because it can't be equal to 7, but that's where we have to start at. And uh, less than, that means to the left. So I'm going to use my pink marker here just to show that you can shade in to the left there. So all we've done is isolate the variable by doing the opposite operation of what was originally being done. And then when we graph, we got x is less than 7, so less than an open circle, shade to the left because left is less. Okay. Now we've got example number 2. We're going to solve and graph negative 16 is less than or equal to y minus 4. Now this one's a little bit different because there are variables on the other side there, but again, don't let that trip you up. So we've got a y and we're subtracting 4. We get rid of subtracting 4 with adding 4. So we're going to add 4 over here as well. We got, I always take care of my variable first. So I'm going to go on this side. The minus 4 and the plus 4, those are going to go away. So we just have y. And the way that, uh, where the variable is and how the inequality sign is, it's y is greater than or equal to, because again, your alligator is trying to eat the bigger uh, number. Negative 16 plus 4. They got different signs, so we're going to subtract them. So 16 minus 4, that's 12. And the negative 1 is bigger, so it's negative 12. So we've got y is greater than or equal to negative 12. Now it may help some of you to rewrite these. And the way you can do that, put your variable on the left. And whichever way the alligator was facing, uh, so in this case it's facing to the variable. So I'm going to write it facing to the variable. And then just put the negative 12 over here. That will help you to graph it more easily. So again, just put negative 12 in the middle. And remember, negatives are opposite of positives. So this is going to be negative 13 over here, negative 11 there. Now we're going to graph greater than or equal to. The or equal to makes it a closed circle. And again, I'm going to use the pink marker and greater than. So greater than means we're going to shade to the right. And if you look at your numbers, who's greater? Negative 11 or negative 13? Negative 11 is greater than negative 12, so we shade in that direction there. So to the right. Okay. Next one. OK, 
Okay, we're going to solve and graph z plus 3 eighths is greater than or equal to 1 half. So you got z plus 3 eighths is greater than or equal to 1 half. Okay, now we're going to need to subtract this 3 eighths here. So minus 3 eighths, minus 3 eighths. So over here, positive and negative cancel. We just have z greater than or equal to. And we got 1 half minus 3 eighths. We need a common denominator. 1 half, if we're going to turn that into eighths, we know that that's going to be 4 eighths. So we got 4 eighths minus 3 eighths, which is equal to 1 eighth. So z is greater than or equal to 1 eighth. And now we'll graph. Got our number line. And if they don't give you numbers, you just go on, plot that in the middle. Got 1 eighth there. That would be 0 because you want to go by eighths. Then from 1 eighth, well, 2 eighths is really 1 fourth. So we're going to do that there. Greater than or equal to, closed circle, going to shade to the right because we want everything that is greater than 1 eighth or equal to it, and that's everything that's to the right there. So you shade in. Okay, you can shade on your number line, you can shade above it. Same thing. Okay. In our last example here, we'll do a word problem. So we're going to have to this time write, solve, and graph our inequality. Joanne has spent $10 at the fair. She can spend no more than $30. Write an inequality, solve it, and graph the solution. So she spent $10 at the fair. And she can spend some other amount of money, so we're adding on, but she can't spend any more than $30. So $10 plus some other amount of dollars has to be less than or equal to 30 because it's no more than that. She could still spend $30. That's why we have that or equal to. So now we've got to solve this. I've got the X and I have a 10 with it. Now it's an addition there. So we look at the sign here. This is a positive 10. To get rid of a positive 10, I'm going to subtract off 10 on both sides. Positive and negative cancel. I just have X which is less than or equal to 30 minus 10 is 20. So x is less than or equal to 20. So that's the solution there. And then we will graph. Got 20 plus 30 19 21 And then we will put our circle less than or equal to means it's a closed circle. And less than means to the left. So we're going to shade to the left. And that's how we uh, solve and graph addition and subtraction inequalities.